welcome back to another video in this video we will see medical coding resumes total three resumes i will show in this video so uh, let's get into the video here the first resume is for cpc certified candidate and in the top you have to mention your name and contact uh, details location mobile number and email id in the professional summary you can add objectives or career uh, um, career details or anything you can mention i have mentioned professional summary and here i have mentioned a highly motivated and detail oriented cpc certified fresher so uh, note that point and this side i have mentioned educational details and this side skills i have mentioned once pass the video read all the skills and a few skills i have mentioned this right side multitasking excellent communication skills critical thinking computer skills in the below the technical here in the instead of skills you can mention that technical skills and mention about all medical coding skills like strong understanding of medical guidelines and procedures anatomy physiology skill these skills and in the soft skills you can mention this multitasking excellent communication and those all here i in here the certifications i mentioned cpc certified from uh, aipc or uh, uh, ahim from where you got the certificate mention that and in the personal information i have given father name father name gender date of birth nationality and uh, marital status and in the hobbies whatever the in the hobbies section whatever the hobbies uh, you want to mention you can mention there and in the declaration and name and signature this is about the cpc certified uh, resume here is another resume template for cpc certified candidates here the name email id phone number and i have mentioned in the top of the resume only that you are certified professional then it will be easy for the uh, hr or recruiter to recognize that you are certified candidate and here the objectives is same over there i have mentioned professional summary and here here i have given that uh, objectives and the objectives whatever i mentioned is the same and then educational details i have in, given in this box type uh, like uh, you can see mention uh, your uh, course means uh, graduation date school year of passing and percentage these all and in the technical skills as i told previously in the technical skills mention whatever the uh, skills you have which is required for a medical coder like uh, cpc uh, sorry med anatomy physiology medical terminology and abbreviations and icd um, icd 10 cpt hcc guidelines and in the below if you want for this template i have added uh, like one more uh, headline that is a soft skills and here i have mentioned flexible and adaptable multitasking excellent communication skills and these all in this if you want you can mention a microsoft office excel and if you have any other uh, uh, soft skills you can mention here and one more one more headline is for certifications so i have mentioned in the top of the cv as well and here also i have mentioned certified professional coder if you have any certifications like uh, we have done some certifications in pgdca or if you have uh, trained any fr trained from any institute you can mention the certif that certificate as well and last thing is professional details sorry personal details like uh, father name gender date of birth nationality hobbies if you want to extend your resume you can give the headline as hobbies and speak or languages speak and write and material marital status and here the last thing is declaration declaration so this is about certified uh, fresher cv so this is the overall cv hope this is clear So this is another resume which is for uh, non-certified fresher but trained candidate. So so few people use it to take the basic medical coding training. So for those people, this is the uh, 
resume so here the objectives is uh, detailed and oriented life science graduates with basic medical coding training so this is about the objectives and after that i have mentioned educational details mention all your educational details and in the skill section i have mentioned medical coding systems because they should aware of icd 10 cpt scps guidelines and medical abbreviations terminology anatomy physiology and also if possible they will uh, prepare you the charts as well i think as per my knowledge they are giving uh, training for the charts as well if you want to mention you can mention that as well and after the training they will give you the certification that you have already completed your uh, medical coding training in that uh, institute so if you want to mention mention that certificate in the certifications and also mention whatever the certificates you have which is related to the computer only those certificate you have you should mention and then personal details father name date of birth hobbies and uh, languages you speak and then declaration so this is about uh, non certified trained resume so here the another resume is for non certified without a training certificate training resume so here it is the name uh, phone number email id if you have the linkedin account you can mention and the objectives is similar but i have mentioned a recent graduate with keen interest in medical coding like that i have mentioned and then educational details educational details is same for all certified non-certified non-trained and here the technical skills is for non-certified non-trained candidate don't have any experience in icd cpt hc hvpc and they have only uh, means uh, they have only knowledge in anatomy physiology medical terminology and abbreviations and if you want to add like a soft field soft skills you can also mention that as well in the resume so i have given just a technical skills and mentioned this all the skills and computer skills proficiency in ms word and excel because for non certified non trained we can't elaborate the cv to the two pages the fresher cv should be two pages so that is the reason i have added computer skills and proficiency in ms word and excel fast and accurate typing skills if you have any certifications you can mention here uh, i think uh, for all the graduates uh, they must have pgdca certificate so you can mention that here and uh, personal details this is also same for all the resumes like father name gender date of birth nationality hobbies languages you speak and write and here it is the declaration in the declaration part for few re resumes i have not mentioned the date if you want you can mention so th the declaration is the same for all personal details also same uh, certifications if you are certified more than that you have to add only one word cpc certified and in instead of computer skills i have mentioned a soft skills for uh, cpc certified uh, resume so in this video we have discussed these three resumes certified resume non certified but trained resume non certified and non trained resume so this is about today video if you found this video is helpful please do like share and subscribe to my channel and also comment below for what you are looking so this is about today video thank you for watching once again